Area clearance toolpath offsetting has been improved in PowerMod 2010 such that no longer will thin, tall, upstanding sections of material be formed during the cutting operation that could potentially damage the tool when this material is removed in the final block profile pass. Let's load in a project and compare the difference between PowerMod 10 and PowerMod 2010. I have some toolpaths or some area clearance toolpaths already created and to make it clearer to see and visualize the difference we've limited those toolpaths to a single slice. First of all let's just compare the difference between the PowerMill 10 area clearance toolpath and the PowerMill 11 area clearance toolpath. Let's have a look down the z-axis and zoom in here in the corner Let's just switch off our part for a second. We'll just draw our block so we can see the edge of our block. And on the screen at the moment is the PowerMill 10 toolpath. And we can see the last profile pass is extremely close to the edge here. And if we simulate the tool at that position, you can see that half of the tool is hanging over the edge. If we draw now the PowerMill 11 area clearance toolpath, you can see a dramatic difference in the final profile pass around the block. The last pass is a lot more inboard of the block edge. And again, if we simulate the tool from that position, you can see that virtually all of the tool is contained within the block, apart from a small overhang. And we also have the teardrop link in the corner there to remove any cusps that may occur. So let's draw our part back and now let's have a look uh, in the view mill simulation so we can clearly, clearly see uh, the material being removed uh, and the effect it has on the tool. So we're going to go back to our PowerMill 10 toolpath first of all. We're going to simulate from the start. Go to a high resolution view. And we're going to play this toolpath to the end. Now this toolpath um, has been limited and the last pass has been removed. So we can just simulate the last pass step by step to see the effect of this thin slither or upstand of material. We're going to step through the toolpath and stop the animation when the tool is cutting the final profile pass. So straight away we can see here the thin slither of material that has been left behind. And now the tool is removing that thin slither. Now this is potentially damaging to the tool and could cause excessive wear and premature tool fracture. This is especially true for the larger slab type milling cutters which have numerous inserted, inserted carbide teeth. Let's abort the simulation and now we're going to do exactly the same with PowerMill 11. Again we're going to simulate from the start and first of all we're going to play to the end the first toolpath which has the final profile pass removed and now we're going to simulate in single step mode the final profile pass. Now both of these toolpaths that were created in PowerMill 10 and 11 have identical parameters with identical step overs. There is no change to the actual form itself but the internal algorithm that calculates the toolpath offsets detects and removes these thin 
slithers. So here we can see now that the final profile pass is removing a width of material that is equal to the step over that we defined. Let's just quit out of that and get back to our wireframe view. So to summarize, the area clearance strategy has been improved such that no longer does it create thin upstands of material that could potentially damage the tool or rapidly increase tool wear on the tips of the tool.